Hi guys, this is Vineet and in today's video we will talk about or we will take a walk through of a general page of integration services designer options. Before we proceed ahead, I would request you guys to please subscribe to my channel if you are new to this channel. Uh, there is a subscribe button below this video. Click on that subscribe button. It will give you a bell icon. Click on that bell icon. Select all notifications to get notifications regarding all my future videos. Now why should you subscribe to my channel? I have listed out few of the reasons. Subscribe because you need to excel in your career and achieve job with high salary package. Subscribe because you are getting best SQL content on this channel with in-depth discussion of concepts. Subscribe because we are providing in-depth training on SQL Server and not just providing surface level knowledge. Subscribe because you need to master SQL Server. Subscribe because you do not have time to go through books and want to watch videos and implement the SQL Server practicals in your test environments. So these are some of the reasons. If you have any other reasons to subscribe, do mention those to us over the comments on this video. Let me discuss some of the motivational tips to gain mastery in SQL Server. Try to spend at least 3 to 4 hours per day watching SQL Server videos on my channel in case you are doing a 9 hour job shift. Otherwise you have a whole day to spend watching my videos. Utilize Saturdays and Sundays effectively and fully to cover all the videos in my all SQL Server playlist. Links are given in the description area. Don't waste your time especially on these particular days, Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, take break for 50 minutes after watching videos every one hour. Take care of your health so that you can focus all your energy and efforts on learning SQL Server stuff. Show dedication towards advancing your career by investing more of your time in learning and getting a job with high salary package. So dedication is required from your end guys. So please be dedicated in learning SQL Server stuff. Now there are some points to remember while watching this video. Please watch this video till the end to gain better clarity of the concept. If it's possible for you, please watch this video twice. Perform any exercises in your test and lab environments only. Do not touch any production environments or production databases. We would like to know your thoughts regarding our videos, so please share your comments with us. We eagerly wait for them. In case you need the PDF copy of the notes that are discussed during the video, there are two methods to get the same. First one is the paid method where you need to send me the title of the video for which you want the PDF notes on my email address vermavane at gmail.com. So upon receiving your request, I will send you the payment link to make the payment and download the PDF notes. Second method is free of cost uh, where you just need to subscribe to my channel or if you are already a subscriber, you can opt for this option. If you are a new user, there is a subscribe button below this video. Click on that subscribe button. It will give you a bell icon. Click on that bell icon. Select all notifications. Once you click on the subscribe button, it will change to subscribed button. Once you do that, take a screenshot of that area including the subscribe button, the, my channel name along with the video title. Send that screenshot to me over to my email address verma.vane at gmail.com. So upon getting your email, I will check the subscription status as well as the title of the video and I will send you the copy of the PDF notes over to your email address. I have also curated some playlists for you to watch. So I have mentioned some of the playlists over here. Links are given in the video description area. So some of these playlists are SQL Server Database Design, SQL Server Tables, Business Continuity, SQL Server Indexing, SQL Server Performance Training, SQL Server Integration Services. I keep on adding videos to all of these playlists. So Please watch each and every playlist as per your liking and taste and uh, whatever domain you are dealing with. Apart from that, I have a channel page which is at youtube.com slash at the red sequel talks by beneath. You can uh, visit my channel page. The link is also included in the description area of this video. So once you visit my channel page, you will see a subscribe button there as well. From there as well, you can subscribe to my channel as well. And apart from that, you will see a playlist specially curated for you on my channel page. And in addition, you will see the trending videos on my channel, which you can watch. Apart from that, all the mentioned playlists are there on my channel page. So my channel page is very useful for watching videos. So please check out my channel page. Now let's come back to today's topic, which is a walkthrough of general page of integration services designer option. Let me take you through notes. So let's cover this topic so we are talking about the general page of integration services designer and uh, what all options are available there we will discuss on that use the general page of integration services designer page in the options dialog box to specify the options for loading displaying and 
upgrading packages. So what is this page used for? It is used to specify the options for loading a package, displaying a package and upgrading a package. Now how, how to open this general page? Uh, in the SQL Server data tools, on the tools menu click options, expand business, intelligent designer and select the integration services designer. So let me show you how you can do this. So you need to go to tools menu and you need to select options from here. So here we are inside a SQL Server integrations project. If you don't know how to create and open an integration services project, you can watch out my earlier videos on integration services. Uh, there's a playlist on integration services and you can find the link in the video description area. So check all those videos out from start till here. Uh, we have around like seven, eight videos uh, created so far. So you need to watch all of them. So here we are inside the SQL Server data tools. We have opened one of the integration services project over here. And uh, in order to open the integration services designer page options, you need to go to tools options. And you need to go to this area on the left hand side. So on the left hand side, you will find the business intelligence designers. You need to expand that. Under that, you will find the integration services designer. Under that, you have a general page. So this general page has some options listed on the right hand side. So we will go through uh, each of these options now. So first option is the check data signature when loading the packages. So this is currently checked. Check data signature when loading the package. So basically we select this option to have integration services check the data signature uh, while loading the package and integration services will only check whether the digital signature is present, is valid and is from a trusted source. Integration services will not check whether the package has been changed since the package was signed. So it's basically just check the signature when it was initially applied to the package. It will not check that if any modifications are uh, made to the package after uh, the digital signature was applied on that package. It just check whether the package is signed and whether it's from the trusted source. Only thing uh, it do is this. Now, uh, let's see what other options are. Uh, there's a registry value block signature states. Uh, if we set this value, the registry value overrides the check data signature when loading a package option. We will talk about this later, setting this registry option. So if this, uh, we set this registry option, which is blocked signature uh, state, uh, this will override this option over here, which is check data signatures when uh, loading a package, this option. So we will talk about that later, how you can set that registry option for now we are just ignoring it. Now the second option here under the digital signature is show warning if package is unsigned. So if we check this option, it will basically throw us a warning when a loaded package is not signed. We don't want that right now. Now the third option is under the accessibility section, so show precedent or show precedence constraint labels. So if we select this option, it will show us uh, which label success, failure or completion to display on precedent constraints while viewing the packages in SQL Server data rules. Now what is a precedent constraint? Uh, right now none of the projects are loaded. Let me quickly go ahead and uh, open up an integration services project here. For example, let us open a demo project maybe or maybe uh, let's open a demo project. So it's opening up right now. It's loading up. So let's open up a DTSX package over here. So it does not have anything as of uh, now. Let me see if, if we can open any other package. Let me close into uh, the Visual Studio altogether and we'll op open up another project. So I don't exactly remember the name of the project. So that's why I'm loading Visual Studio 2022 app again. So once this app loads, we will load uh, one of the integration services packages uh, available here. So we, we have this integration services project UI. Let's select that and see what all option does it get to us. It will, it should show us some controls over here, which we had added to the control flow tab. So it's currently preparing up the solution. So in that solution, we will show you uh, the precedent uh, constant. If uh, they are not available, uh, we will add uh, some items to the project. So let's wait for the solution to load quickly. 
so it has loaded uh, solution on the right hand so if you take a look at this green line this, there are three atoms added all three tasks added to this uh, control flow task and if you look at this green arrow this is a precedence constraint now let's go to tools options and uh, let's go to the business intelligent designer integration services and general page so if we select this option so precedent constraint labels what it does is it will label success failure or completion to display on precedent constraint when viewing the package in sql server data so now let's check that so it is showing success um, uh, success path basically so whenever a success is made on this task this next task will execute uh, similarly it will show us any failure paths as well so right now it is the failure paths are not defined if it is designed uh, the president uh, constraint will show the failure path as well similar to success it will basically the uh, that option basically enables the precedent constraint to show label success failure or completion to display now let's move on to next option which is the scripting language uh, used for this environment so uh, right now visual c hash 2000 or c sharp 2022 is selected for as a default scripting language but yeah we can change it to visual basic 2002 if we like so that is as per your requirement uh, which uh, language are you comfortable uh, doing scripting in so you can select your language accordingly now the next option is uh, not coming over here uh, sometimes we do get update connection strings to use new provider names so that option is not coming over here uh, so I think that is fine for now uh, with whatever options we have seen on this page so right now we are skipping this skipping package validation we will talk about the later so far we have discussed till the scripting section so i hope you got all these options so these are the options available on the integration services designer uh, page uh, the general page of integration services designer and these are some of the options available and we have discussed uh, three or four of these options so i hope you like this video guys uh, in case you like this video please uh, go ahead and click on the like button also if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel there is a subscribe button below this video click on that subscribe button it will give you a bell icon click on that bell icon select all notifications to get notifications regarding my future videos also do post your comments to us we would uh, love to read your comments and eagerly wait for them as well show let us know your suggestions comment any videos you uh, want us to make any experiences with SQL Server you would like to share with us any benefits of uh, using our videos in your day-to-day -day life do post us your experiences with the SQL Server also guys please help us in spreading this content so what we would like is uh, if your friends are working in the SQL Server domain or SQL Server they deal with SQL Server on a daily basis I would like you to uh, share my videos and ask them to uh, connect to my channel uh, by subscribing to it if you feel this channel will help them in their daily life so help me in spreading these videos to vast majority of people uh, I would really like to help everyone with my videos so would need your help uh, regarding this area so I thank you so much for your time on this video today and uh, you have a wonderful day ahead guys